Hello everybody. I can't help but feel like I'm really late to do this, but I think it's just because a couple months ago, was it a couple months ago? Maybe a month ago, I bought a bunch of new Halloween decorations from TK Maxx and that's pretty much what's been hanging around my house for the past few weeks. So I really haven't been in any rush to like pull out the rest of my decorations, but I just realized it's the middle of October and I have not pulled out my little ghosts and my favorite Halloween candles and everything like that. So here we are. It's a beautiful day. The sun is sort of in and out. So apologies in advance for the lighting that's about to be all over the place, but I'm ready. I've got my spooky little cup of tea. I've got my little spooky dog. Hello, do you wanna say hi? Hi everybody. <laughs> And I'm gonna pop on the new Hocus Pocus, or maybe the old one actually. I am a fan of the new Hocus Pocus. I feel like it was just a vibe. I feel like it was iconic. I feel like it was everything that it should have been. And I think like, I don't know, I just think that even as a child, like I would have still loved that movie. I love that they came back with a bang and that's all I'm gonna say, just in case you haven't watched it. I really actually liked it and I cried and I laughed and I think that that's what kids movies are all about but I am going to pop this on and the first thing I want to dig out is one of my candles from like the years before and then we're going to decorate for Halloween oh my god I can't believe it's this time of year the best freaking time of year my birthday's already been usually I like I feel like I say this like every year and it's like right at the start of September because that's like when my favorite part of the year sort of kicks off, like start of September when the season changes and everything like that. But I feel like at this point, I am really just rambling. You guys, I was gonna put on Hocus Pocus, but I think I'm gonna put this on instead. I have not watched this yet this year, so I'm pretty keen for that. I'm gonna put on Halloween Town and let's do this. Today's the first day where the weather's been nice enough for the fire to not be going and I'm actually kind of sad about it. Alright, we have a huge box completely full of pumpkins, which is not what I really wanted to find right now, but I'm certainly not mad about it. Hello, beauties. <laughs> this one was a new edition from last year and I'm pretty sure I saw this one in TK Maxx again this year. Um, it lights up and is a very, very pretty. Going to change this shelf around a little bit and see what we come up with. done and that actually didn't take very long at all but I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you guys what I did I don't know I don't know if I like it I just really do I don't want it to feel cluttered because obviously like my house is not like the biggest space in the world and I just it doesn't feel cluttered to me but I don't want it to look cluttered so anyway okay so pretty much when you come in the front door this is what it looks like I ended up putting the new hocus pocus on the telly I feel like it's kind of minimal I don't know if it's minimal or if it's cluttered maybe it's this area like here that I feel is a bit cluttered but anyway I just popped my pumpkin string lights over here they're looking very very cute I just love these things so much 
Um, I kept my pumpkin there. Don't mind the fluffy thing in the back. That is actually the microphone cover for this microphone. <laughs> um, and then over here, I don't know. I feel that I just feel like this needs some sort of height to give it a bit more. I don't know. I don't know though. Like I said, I don't want it to look cluttered. So I might just leave it like this. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. The bottom was already done, but I decided to go a little bit crazy on the top. I don't know. I really just keep this lantern on here like all year round and change it like according to Halloween and Christmas. But yeah, I don't know. I was thinking maybe like a little mirror or something. And then the fireplace, obviously still using this. So I didn't want to go crazy on this either. I can't wait a few more weeks and I'll actually be able to just clean all this. I can't, I seriously cannot wait to stop using the fireplace. It just makes such a mess. But that is pretty much it. As for the kitchen, this was pretty much already done as well. The pumpkins were already here. Pretty much everything on this shelf was already there. I just changed it a little bit as you guys saw. And then I just popped a little pumpkin in the corner and some tea towels on the stove or the oven, whatever you want to call it. Aside from everything that you see here in the bathroom, I also just popped a little Halloween candle next to my Halloween Lush goodies. Well, some of them are Halloween, some of them are Christmas, and some of them are just regular old Lush goodies. But that's that's it for now, I think, until I go to Kmart. Maybe I'll just get a cheap mirror. I don't know, though. I don't really want to do that because then I'm stuck with the mirror. So, I don't know. But the mailman just came, delivered some packages. So, I thought we might just open those together. And then I'm going to have some lunch. And I wasn't going to because I'm trying to give myself a day off through the week but I'm gonna go to the gym and I'm just gonna do a little upper body sesh because it's my happy place and honestly getting my blood pumping get my blood moving makes me feel so much better like mentally the other day I think it was Monday I told my friend that I'd train with her in the afternoon and I did but I noticed all of Monday because normally I train in the mornings all of Monday I just was like not in the best mood and then as soon as as soon as I was in the gym doing my thing, I honestly just felt 10 times better. Let's open these packages. First up, we have something from Big W, which is very exciting and also partially concerning because last time I bought a book from Big W, it came completely destroyed. So I think this one survived. How good. Guess what it is, everybody. It is Shadow and Bone, which I'm very excited to read because I was obsessed with the show. And the reason that I actually bought the book was because I thoroughly enjoyed Six of Crows. The Six of Crows trilogy is honestly the best thing ever. I love Kaz and Inej and Jesper. They are just the best characters ever. Love them. And I realized that they're probably not really in this book, but anything to do with the Grishaverse, I'm all about it. I'm obsessed. Probably not, I don't have any plans at this stage to read the other two books in this particular little trio, but I'm really excited about it. And I also have another book coming that's a part of the Grishaverse. It's called King of Scars is what it's called. So very excited about that. It's about one of the characters. I'm pretty sure it's about one of the characters that pops up in Six of Crows. So really excited about that. More stuff from Princess Polly. I actually don't know if I've even been sharing all my little bits and pieces that I've been picking up lately from Princess Polly but I feel like I've just been obsessed with all of their dresses so I've been buying all their dresses um, but mainly because this gal as as I'm saying this my wedding date is like sick uh, as of this day, today, Wednesday the 12th of October, I'm pretty sure my wedding is like seven, seven weeks away or six, seven, I think it's seven weeks away. So I've been picking up some little white dresses for my hens do, whatever you want to call it, my hens, hens weekend, hens weekend, uh, because that is in like two weeks time, I think, I think it's like the weekend. It's the weekend before Halloween, I think. Nobody's telling me anything because it's a surprise. All I really know is the date. So I've been trying to pick up 
a few little white dresses that I can wear over that weekend. So this first one's called the Berlin Satin Mini Dress in white. And I saw this weeks ago and it was just completely sold out in my size. But isn't this so cute? It sort of could be a nighty. It's a little bit of a nighty vibe. But I just think that that fabric is so stinking cute. Yay, I'm excited to try it on. I'm going to try it on in a minute. I'll show you guys the other one first. So this dress I shared in the vlog that's going up today, actually, in my um, Listen Out vlog. I have this dress sort of in a colour similar to the shirt that I'm wearing at the moment, actually. But this is called the Empress of Love mini dress. And this one is in white, and I am completely obsessed with the other one. So I really wanted to pick it up in just the white as well, because it's so damn cute. All I do with this as well, I don't have any boobies so I just get like little nipple covers and I just whack them on and it is absolutely fine my sister was like I feel like I don't have enough boobies to wear this and I was like well I have none and I think it looks pretty cute so hopefully this isn't too washed out and you guys can see these because I feel like today is just a constant battle with the lighting but yeah and then I have one more package down here which is very exciting not gonna lie you ever like do you ever get those emails where they're like such and such band or such and such artist has like a special offer for you I don't know why I clicked into this one because it was like <laughs> Emily Affliction has an offer for you it's this limited edition shirt only available to their Spotify fans and I was like that's pretty cool so anyway I went ahead and ordered one because I do love a little bit of an oversized tea moment for the gym. I got this in a medium and it honestly doesn't look very big but this is cute. We have a little coffin with Emony on the front and then on the back a flaming coffin with Emony. Isn't that so sick? Oh I love it. I just love it. That's sick. How cool. Alright I'm gonna try these dresses on. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's a little bit dark in the hallway. Maybe I should just turn, turn some lights on. It's one thing I really just hate about this house is there's like no light and I'm so used to our old house still this many years later. Like I'm not used to it being so dark, but this is the first dress. Love it. Um, and you can fully just wear a normal bra with this because it's like high enough in the back and it's got really thick straps. This sounds like an ad. This is not an ad I bought. And we'll continue to buy everything from Princess Polly with my own money. And, uh, I mean, unless they want to work together, then that would be fab. But, I mean, it's been a long time. <laughs> this is the second one. I just love these dresses so stinking much. I really love how they sit, like, in the back. Because I'm not someone that likes to show off their back. And I feel like it's just the right amount, you know what I mean? <laughs> Love it. It's so flowy and nice and summery and I'm ready for like, I'm just ready for warm weather. So I'm really uh, actually probably getting in a bit too early because I don't know what the weather's going to be like in my hen's weekend yet. I don't even know what we're doing. I don't even know if a dress is going to be appropriate. So I guess we'll see together. And I obviously had to share this one because it's probably my favourite. I was worried that it might be a bit too short because I like to essentially wear dresses to the gym but I'll just pop some shorts and sports bra under this and I'm actually just obsessed. Can't wait to scare everybody at the gym with my burning coffin shirt. Like stay away from me. <laughs> Hello everybody. It's many hours later. I finished in the gym uh, and I'm just about to leave to go get my friend. We're gonna go get some pizza. I'm just stopping Kmart because I'm gonna start doing like a little dot journal bullet journal whatever you want to call it so i just picked up some cute like gel pens for that um and some highlighters i'm so like just like not super crafty but i'm excited to try and do something different and i feel like i need a better way to keep track of the books that i have and want to buy and want to read and have read and like come up with some sort of with some sort of like schedule or something to read them and just put it all in there but anyway I need to go get Emily I'm gonna be late so yeah we're gonna go get pizza I'm very excited about it show you guys when we get it I think we're gonna do a half and half one but we'll see
comb. I feel like it just like the days are longer, but then it just gets dark so quickly out of nowhere. Just put my dressing gown on because it's really cold. Clay's got the fire going. I've left my little metal pumpkin up there. I think it should be fine. But I'm just loving how all of this looks now that it's like getting dark. It just makes me so happy. I am a big fan of decorating with fairy lights. I don't know, I've always been this way. Uh, as you can see, most of my candles are for decorative purposes only, like this one. <laughs> I will never be lighting, same as uh, like two of the ones that are on there, like they will never be lit, so I don't know. <sighs> Kmart only had this really gross like round mirror, so I don't know, I might just leave that as it is. groceries and everything came back home made sausage rolls as you guys saw and then I got started on my bullet journal <laughs> that was actually so relaxing and so much fun to do and I think it's gonna be a really good way to keep track of everything book wise um, I'm really excited to show you guys that but not right now because right now <laughs> sort of in a rush we're going out to dinner and I am literally going to be going like this because I got carried away and now I don't feel like doing my makeup so going super cash it's actually to a place that we haven't been before in the bay which is so crazy but um I don't know what the vibe is I don't know what's on the menu but we're gonna go and I'll see you guys there It's the next day. Dinner last night was incredible. I cannot actually believe we have such a nice restaurant in Batemans Bay and I didn't even know about it. Um, but we just came back from the beach. The water was looking a bit gross and the beach was looking a bit gross because we've had so much rain here. But it is just the most stunning day ever. It's 22 degrees. <laughs> Dwayne made a complete mess of himself. So we've got him outside. And we got him a new toy a few weeks ago. It's like a water toy. And we have ball water here. Uh, <laughs> Clay's just set this up for him. It's really, really cute. So Don't you like it? It's pretty cute. Go on, Dwayne, you scaredy cat. I also did so much washing this morning. It's fabulous. 
Nah. Oh my god, I want to play in there. Team Dad, it's getting bigger. <laughs> oh. Hello, everybody. Happy Saturday afternoon. I don't know where Friday even went. I spent a lot of time on my computer yesterday afternoon. Clay made dinner. It was the best dinner ever. We got those like chicken nibble things from um, the like fridge section in Woolies. Clay cooked those on the smoker with asparagus and potato gems and it was just so good. Like the perfect summer afternoon dinner, even though it's not summer. Anyway, <laughs> and we don't have dinner in the afternoon, we have dinner in the evening. But anyway, that's where my brain is at. It's absolutely melted, which is completely fine because it's Saturday afternoon. And it's time to just chill and relax and wind down and recharge because it's the weekend, sisters. But uh, I just was editing this vlog and I realised that I haven't shown you guys my book journal. Before we get into it, I just want to say I realise it's not for everybody. I didn't even think that it was going to be for me, but I found that it is such a fun, creative little outlet and it's very therapeutic and I'm finding it really enjoyable. I'm by no means any sort of artiste and um, I think that's completely fine. It looks like a child made it. I am a child, so it's fine. Uh, so just quickly, here it is. <laughs> So here's my little bullet journal. This one is $5 from Kmart. I didn't want to buy like a really expensive one off of like Amazon or something. Speaking of, I finally got an Amazon account. That is so dangerous. Uh, but yeah, five bucks from Kmart. The paper's a bit thin. Who cares? So this is dedicated only to my books, as I mentioned earlier in the vlog. Uh, <laughs> just, I'm, this is going to just be such a brief overview. So... Um, I made a little TBR because, hello everybody, I'm a booktuber now. <laughs> so, this is my October TBR. Don't judge it. I tried to make it Halloween themed. This is what it looks like. I really like it. It's orange, yellow and black. We've got a little ghost. We've got a little bat. I'm a fan, okay? I don't care. And there's only like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven books on here, which is actually pretty good. But, I mean, I've already finished three. And I'm about to be finishing four. I just finished Shatter Me last night. Obsessed. Like, so obsessed. That I went straight into reading Destroy Me. And I'm halfway through this now. And I just... I love it. I did not expect to really even like these. Now I've purchased them all. And I'll probably have them read in about two weeks at this rate. So anyway. <laughs> I needed a way to, like, keep up with... Oh, you guys are going to judge me so hard for this. Book buying and book reading are two different hobbies. And they're two very different things. And I have bought an absolutely ob obscene amount of books this month. And I do intend on reading 98% of them. <laughs> so I obviously buy them from different places. Like Big W, Booktopia, Amazon, Kmart. But I really just needed a way to keep up with the purchases that I was making. Please don't show this to Clay. <laughs> um, so this is my monthly purchases page for October. So basically I buy the book or I order the book online and then when it comes I highlight it off so that I know I actually received it. So I'm waiting on a few more to arrive this month but they should all be here within the next couple weeks and then that's just continued on the next page. We've got a pumpkin, we've got a little gravestone still Halloween themed. I know, I'm so artsy, look at me go. And then I got really excited and made like a little like spring and summer TBR. How funny am I? <laughs> and then more little stickers. All these stickers are from Kmart, um, like sticker books and sticker books. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that, but these are all just little summary books that I want to read while the weather's warmer. This is going to be a page that I'm going to dedicate to a wish list or a little shopping list for books that I want to buy. I don't have anything on there, as you may have noticed, because I really just don't need to be buying any books at all for at least a couple of months. But like I said, book buying and book reading are two very different things. But that is actually it for now. I've got big plans. There's a lot more that I want to put in here. I've got a little like notes 
list that I've written down of things that I would like to add into this. So yeah, if you guys would like to see more of that as I continue working on it, let me know. I might make it into like a separate video, but I seriously am loving this. But in other news, <sighs> I've had this makeup on my face since like 6.30 this morning and it is now 3.40 so I really want to take this off my face. Yesterday in the mail I got a very exciting package from Hey Bud. I've actually been wanting to try this for the longest time. So this is a face mask made completely from hemp <laughs> and I've heard that it is meant to be really really good with minimizing pores. And that is just one thing that honestly gets me down about my skin. Like, I couldn't care less if I get a pimple. It's going to be gone in, like, seven days. But my pores are, I'm pretty sure they're hereditary because my mother has got humongous pores as well. And especially in this area, in my forehead. So pretty much my entire face. So I'm going to take this makeup off and uh, we're going to try this puppy out. So let's do that. So hello everybody, welcome to my bathroom. I've just taken my makeup off and I opened this box and there's so much stuff in here, like more than I even realized, like there's more than just a face mask. But yeah, what do we have? We've got the clay mask, which I am very excited about. There's also a hyaluronic acid and hemp serum. That sounds really cool. There's a little brush to apply the face mask, I'm assuming. Ooh, we've got overnight hemp moisturizer. This is so freaking nice. Thank you. I cannot believe this. And Hit Refresh Hemp Gel Cleanser. How cool. That sounds actually amazing. I wonder if I can use this before I use a face mask. I wonder if that's okay because normally I'll do a double cleanse when I've been wearing makeup and I literally only just took my makeup off. So I might try this cleanser right now before I use the mask. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how beautiful and sleek this packaging is? Ooh. It smells like cucumbers. Just to massage this in and then rinse with water, which is definitely my style because I'm all for like a oil cleanser and it's sort of like the same thing except this is not, I don't think it's an oil based cleanser, I could be wrong. It might be, it's just infused with hemp seed oil. Nice. I just dried my face and that does feel damn refreshing like so no wonder it's called hit refresh that's clever i like it okay, so it says this mask will decongest purify remove excess sebum and replenish skin all in one go Ooh. geez my skin feels like super soft after using that cleanser what the hell I'm just going to use my viewfinder as a mirror. I could use the one behind me, but you guys won't really see what is going on, I suppose. It's on. See you in 15 minutes. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. Feeling very nice and dry. What the hell? Are you kidding me? Am I literally imagining this or that has seriously made such a difference like my pores are actually freaking like smaller wow that is crazy I'm gonna try the serum and I think I'm just going to put my regular daily moisturizer over the top for now because I'll save the night moisturizer for tonight. The interesting thing about this serum is it actually says to apply it to a damp face so that is really cool. That is just so crazy. My skin feels incredible. Thank you so much to the team at Hey Bud for sending that over. I really, really appreciate it. And I absolutely love it. 
It is gorgeous. That is easily the best clay mask I've ever tried. I can't believe my pores. I hope you guys could see them in the close up that I did before. But like there is such a difference, which is so crazy and everything else in there is beautiful. I'm sure that the night cream is going to be stunning as well. But I think that's going to go ahead and complete the vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, as always, be sure to smash the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, um, turn on notifications, share the vid with anybody else you think might enjoy coming to hang out with us. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see you all really, really soon. Love you. Bye.